Hey guys, it's Joe from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm gonna be talking about the Nectar Lush Mattress. I'm be telling you everything you need to know about this mattress, the pros, the cons, who is a good fit for, who is not a good fit for. Basically by the end of the video, you're gonna have a pretty good idea if you're gonna to wanna to get it, so stay tuned. Right, if you want to learn more about this mattress, check out mattressclarity.com. You're also going to find some very cool content. We have a mattress quiz that can give you a very cool personalized recommendation as well. So check that out at mattressclarity.com. All right, we have the Nectar Lush mattress here. I really like the Nectar Original mattress. It's a very successful company. This is kind of a stepped up, more premium approach to the original Nectar mattress. So I was excited to jump in and review this mattress. Let's talk about what's inside of this mattress. Starting with the cover here. Nice soft cover, has a pretty cool texture to it, but it's not really gonna affect the overall feel of the mattress too much. Moving on to the mattress now, we have 12 inches in total. We have a pretty standard base layer, a transition layer that's polyfoam that's gonna be firmer than this top layer, which is three inches of memory foam. I'll show you what that looks like. It's got that slow moving, slow reacting memory foam feel. This transition layer makes sure that you don't sink into the mattress too much, but you're definitely gonna have a nice memory foam feel here. It's very uh, soft on top here. You can see just how easily I can push my hand in there. So be nice and pressure relieving, but stay tuned later in the video, we're gonna have a pressure map testing that's gonna show you exactly how well the mattress relieves pressure. So it has a nice memory foam feel. Um, it has this nice transition layer that makes sure you don't um, kind of get stuck in the mattress and that's the construction overall. All right, now let's talk about firmness and feel. As far as firmness is concerned, I put this mattress about a 6.5 out of 10, kind of right in the medium of that firmness range. As far as the feel is concerned, got three inches of memory foam on top, so definitely a memory foam feel, uh, kind of that slow moving memory foam feel. So there's gonna be no bounce whatsoever. I'll show you with this lacrosse ball. Just kind of dies right there. So it's not gonna be as easy to move around. Definitely some of that memory foam feel, but you're not gonna get stuck in the mattress. All right, now I'm gonna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions. Starting on my back, first thing I notice is my hips sink in, not too much. The memory foam kind of conforms very well to the curves of my body, gives me that lumbar support. It's a pretty good match for me there, switching out to my side. Memory foam kicks in and kind of relieves that pressure on my shoulders and hips, so I feel like it's a pretty good match for me on my side as well. Switching on to the stomach now, I would say it's a little bit too soft. There's probably a little bit too much memory foam, so if you just sleep on your stomach, I'd probably look for something a little bit firmer, maybe a little bit more supportive. Mattress Clarity, we love our pressure map testing because it shows you exactly how well every mattress leaves pressure. I'm gonna get down on this pressure map here, lie down on my back, side, and stomach, and you see anywhere from blue to no pressure all the way up to red to high pressure. Only thing to note is if you have a different body type than I do, you may see different results, but let's get started. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160, I'm 6'7", 250. I'm a larger person than Joe. I wanna give my experience on the Nectar Lush mattress. So Joe thought it was a six and a half out of 10 in terms of firmness, and I actually thought it was the same, a six and a half out of 10. And that's because usually I bottom out in a mattress like this, feel some more firmness on my shoulders and my hips, especially on my side than Joe does, but didn't have that experience with the Nectar, definitely felt it was the same firmness that Joe did. A six and a half, about medium in terms of firmness. Then in terms of sleep position, starting on my back, it's actually a pretty good match for me. I sink pretty far under the mattress, feel some great contouring, some decent lumbar support as well, so a pretty good match for me as a heavier back sleeper. Moving to my side, again, I press into the mattress, but I'm not hitting the support layers beneath. It's a pretty thick comfort layer on the Nectar Lush, so some pretty good pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips. And then moving to my stomach, it's definitely not firm enough. I'm not getting enough support under my hips. I'm bowing in there. I'm getting out of alignment somewhat. So what does all that mean? I think if you're a heavier back or side sleeper, the Nectar Lush is definitely a good option for you. Heavier stomach sleepers, however, probably want to look elsewhere. If you sleep with a partner, you're gonna to wanna to consider motion transfer. Basically, if your partner is moving around on that side of the bed, is that motion gonna be isolated or transfer over to you and possibly wake you up at night? To test that, I've got a glass here. I'm gonna create a little disturbance around the glass, see how it reacts. Got memory foam on top here, so I expect to do pretty well. 
you can see that the glass isn't moving too much, so it's isolating motion pretty well here. Also had Martin on my team, kind of jumping out of bed, create a little disturbance as well, and I didn't really feel that motion transfer over to me, so I would say this mattress is a good option for couples. If you sleep with a partner or you like sleeping towards the edge of the bed, you're gonna to wanna to consider edge support. Basically, can you sit or sleep towards the edge of the bed without feeling like you're gonna fall off? I'm on the edge here. You see that the foam is collapsing a little bit, but I could actually probably tie my shoes pretty easily here. I'm gonna switch onto my back now. I'm not really getting too much of that rolling off the bed feeling, so I'd say the edge board is okay in this case. All right, let's talk about the pros of this mattress or who I think this mattress is a good fit for. Number one, back sleepers find this to be a good match. Pretty good match from a support perspective. Memory foam kind of confirms very well to the curves of the body and supports me pretty well. Also, side sleepers will find the memory foam to really pressure quite well and really like it on your side. Uh, also, people want a medium firmness. This is right in the middle of the mattresses I've reviewed, 6.5 out of 10. So if you want a kind of medium firmness, it's definitely a good option for you. And also, if you just like that classic memory foam feel, that's definitely what you get. You get three inches of very slow moving memory foam. So this would definitely be a good fit for you in that case. All right, we talked about the pros, but what are the cons and who is this not the best fit for? Number one thing I can think of is stomach sleepers. You probably want something a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive overall. Also, this is a medium firm mattress, so if you want something that's a little on the softer side or a little on the firm side, I'd definitely look elsewhere as well. Also, if you just don't like that classic memory foam feel, you like that traditional spring feel, or you want a latex feel with more bounce where it's easier to move around, I would definitely check out a different mattress as well. All right, if you're taking a look at the Nectar Lush mattress, you probably see that they have the Nectar Original mattress, and you're probably wondering which one is gonna be right for you. So I thought I'd touch on that here. Main differences are price, definitely a big step up in price from the Nectar to the Nectar Lush mattress. Firmness is gonna be a little bit different as well. I think that the Lush is gonna be just a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive overall than the original is. Um, the construction is gonna be a little bit different. The Lush is gonna be a little bit thicker overall. It has this nice kind of transition layer in the middle. There's three inches of memory foam. There's actually four inches of memory foam on the original Nectar mattress. So I would say that, you have more of a memory foam feel with the original, but the Lush is gonna be more of a kind of a balanced foam feel, but with a little bit of memory foam feel, and it's gonna be a little bit more supportive overall. So those are the main differences, and you just have to decide for yourself, is it really worth a step up in price? I wanted to give you some initial information about this mattress. You're gonna get free shipping and free returns as well. You're gonna have the option of white glove delivery service so people can kind of deliver it for you and put it into your house. There's also financing available. So if you're worried about cash strap and you're worried about making one lump sum payment, you can make smaller monthly payments. Um, so that's really nice as well. They also have 365 night sleep trial and a forever warranty. There's also the original Dector mattress. So definitely check that out if you want to spend a little bit less money as well. And they also have accessories available as well. All right, so you've bought the Nectar Lush mattress it's probably helpful to know how to unbox it. So it's gonna come shipped in a box right to your door. I would get two people, it's a little bit heavy. You could probably do it with one person, but definitely get an extra person just in case. Take it into the bedroom, put it close to your bed, um, roll it out, and then slowly cut open the plastic layers, making sure not to cut into the mattress. When you do that, it'll slowly expand, and then I would probably give it a full 24 hours to expand. I'll have a little bit of that chemical smell, but it will go away. Maybe open a window or something, let it air out. And then it should be ready to go after that. Before we close out this video, I wanted to go over some frequently asked questions about the Nectar Lush mattress. All right, do Nectar mattresses get softer? Well, they definitely do. That's just kind of natural with any sort of foam mattress. It does kind of compress over time, so it will get a little bit softer over time. All right, are memory foam mattresses any good? Well, I think they are personally. It really just comes down to your personal preference. If you like that kind of slowly sinking in feel where you sink into the mattress rather than sleep on top of the mattress, it's definitely the feel that you get here and with memory foam mattresses in general. It really just comes down to personal preference. Do Nectar mattresses need a box spring? Well, you don't need a box spring, really just any flat surface or a platform bed would work with uh, kind of wooden slats. So it's really flexible and you don't necessarily need a box spring. All right, so how long will this Nectar mattress last? Well, it'll last a little bit longer than the original Nectar mattress. I would say probably five, six years of good use. Um, it kind of depends on how big you are, how much you use it. But that's kind of my rough estimate. All right, that's basically it. I think a lot of people are gonna like this mattress. If you're a back sleeper, a side sleeper, like a medium firm mattress, or the memory foam feel overall, you're really gonna like this mattress. I would just caution you if you want something extra firm, extra soft, or you're a stomach sleeper. But that's basically it. If you're just getting started on your mattress buying journey, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. Consider subscribing to our channel, and once again, let me know if you have any questions.